Hello, YouTube. How you guys doing today? Um, I thought I'd shoot a quick little video. Well, it might not be so quick. Um, what I'm going to do is, I got this Morgan nose warmer, and I'm going to replace uh, the shank on it. I figured I'd just shoot a video of how I go about doing it. Um, this is going to be more of the easier of the two ways, or well, one of the easier of the ways you could do it. Um, so. Basically, I'm going to be taking this, removing the stem, and what I'm going to have to do is cut the stem off. And so, just sit tight. I'll bring it back when I get that all finished up. All right. There it is with the stem removed. I just cut it off here with this nice, uh, well, nice cheap <laughs> uh, little coping saw. Um, cut it off here. The end is still inside. Okay, so, this is one way to do it. So... With that out of the way, that's our first step. The reason I didn't remove the stem on these, which I've noticed with uh, some of the other uh, smaller pipes like this, um, the Washington Legend 2 and the Rob Roy can kind of do this, but not so much, but mainly these. Something like this doesn't have a whole lot of meat in the bottom. If you try to pry them out, wiggle them, and crack that glue, you'll actually bust the, the cob around here or down on the bottom here. So this is how I'm going to show you how to replace them without actually having to get the end out. So I'm going to get set up for the next part and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, um, here I have my piece of mahogany. Um, I'm going to be going into the end grain. Um, there's there's reasonings for that. I won't, I'm going to try to keep this video shorter, but there is a difference between drilling it on the end or drilling it down that way. I prefer to go through the end. It's a lot easier. Um, but maybe I'll cover that in another video as to why and the difference. So I got my <clears throat> block here. And what's important here is if you're going to do this like this, where you're going to cut a, a section off and do this, that you make sure that this side and that side are as level as you can get them, as square. Because that way, if you do need to go from one side and then drill down from this side, then to this side to meet it, they won't be off. So basically, I got set up here. I'm going to start. Um, and I'll bring you back for the next part. All right, here we go. We started. We're most of the way through. Um, this one particular uh, hole saw is a three-quarter inch, and then it has the set screw so I can adjust the center guide, right, guiding bit. So I drilled into it. And now I moved it so that just drill bits stood a, quite a bit more proud of uh, the regular hole saw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it through to make a hole on the other side. And uh, it'll make sense in a little bit. So I'm going to continue here and I'm going to make my hole on the other side. All right, I got my hole drilled to the other side there. And now it's gonna, I'm going to be making drilling out this hole to accept uh, a stem, uh, the Missouri Meerschaum stems. What I got here is I believe it's 11 32nd bit. And that's it's about perfect size. You're going to have to do very, very little... Uh, uh, sanding to get that to work and basically since I already got my centered hole on my hole my centered hole on my hole <laughs> from my uh, uh, hole saw that now this bit just got to line it up and it'll follow that hole and we'll be perfectly centered so let's get do that and we'll bring it back afterwards all right so now we have our bigger hole for a bit so this is obviously going to be one end of the stem and now we'll have to get here's where the other hole came out. We'll get to drill on the other side. All right, now what I have in here is I have my 11 uh hole saw, which I used to make my stems out of, but I went to a, a quarter inch because it allows me to do more sanding. So if you've seen the other previous video, I believe I was still using this one when I was talking about making uh, stems. But, so we got a smaller hole saw chucked up now. This is gonna be the part that goes into the cob. So I'm going to drill that, and I'll show you when I get done what exactly I did. All right, guys. Now, I drilled in. I didn't drill very far, probably less than a quarter of an inch, so more like maybe an eighth of an inch in with uh, the smaller drill bit. Now, what I have here is I, I have the three-quarter inch chucked back up, and I'm going to go and drill the rest of this stem out from this side. And the reason for that will make sense. A lot of it is just a – well, it'll make sense. I'll show you when I get there. So I'm going to finish actually drilling this feller out, and then I'll bring you back when I get done with that. All right, guys, this is what we're left with here. <clears throat> and here's our stem. You can see it has the bigger end for uh, the stem, and then it's got the normal little end here. 
And then you can see where I changed that bit out ever so slightly for that little bit of a step down. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my cob, what I got left here, of this Morgan nose warmer. And I'm going to grab a half inch Forstner bit. And I'm going to come into this and I'm going to make, not all the way through, but just enough that this will go into there. And then this will sit inside that hole. And I'll have to sand just a little bit around it and then kind of a little bit of this lip off. There ain't much one of one there. And I'll sand that off and then it'll snug up right in there. So I'm going to change my bits. I'm going to put the Forstner bit in there. And then I will drill that out and we'll bring it back when I'm done with that. All right, guys. So here we are. I <clears throat> drilled my little recess. I got a little bit of chip out. But nothing too bad I can't deal with. You're always going to maybe get a little bit. Of, you get some. It's kind of nature of the beast with a corn cob. And you can see the end is still in there. There's plenty in glued in there. And then that little hole or that little recess will accept this. Where I made the recess in here. Just got to do a little bit of sanding and it will fit right inside. Alright, so I'm going to sand that out and we'll see how she fits up. Alright guys, so here it is. The stems fed it on there. <clears throat> Had a little more sanding to do where they kind of joined a little bit. And, but she set in there. The old bit, or the old end of the stem isn't inside yet. So there ain't much to do, but a uh, little more sanding on the new stem. Um, and then glue it in place, and this guy will be done. So, there's a quick, easy way to uh, make your own stem and still using the existing other end from the Miraziri Mirsham one inside. Um, down the road I might make a video on how to actually reproduce the whole Missouri Mir Mirsham stem. How do I even do that end? But this one works really well even with like that little rabbit inside. Like I said I got you are gonna have some marks from the drilling so you'll just have to sand those out and you'll be good to go. So that's how to do that. Just a little bit of sanding and Take a file, maybe if you want to put the, a ferrule on here, the stock one, or if you want to put the, a compression fitting from a plumbing store, which a lot of people use and I have used. So just find one that fits over that or sand it down so that it'll fit on. So that's my short little video. Hope it helps some of you guys that are wondering how to uh, replace the stems on some of these pipes, which I really enjoy doing. It kind of looks goofy with the big fat stem on there, but there you have it. You guys have a good day.